All right, guys. I had the pleasure the other day of playing a course that had its own practice ground. So I got to hit my bag full of Pro V1s off grass for the first time in two or three years. And it was wonderful. Best practice I've had. So as most of us end up going to the range because these facilities, these a free field where you hit your own balls and go pick them up, they're disappearing. And they're disappearing rapidly. And you've got to pay for these bloody things, don't you? Not only do I hate the mats, I hate these things. The core's designed not to go. The dimple pattern is designed to create drag. So the ball never reaches the top of its flight and it doesn't go very far. And these things encourage the thing that you should never do when you're practicing. And that's hit the ball hard. In fact, this, this could be the worst practice tool ever. The range ball. How bad are they in the real world? Should we go play a few? Well, we're starting on the second where I would normally hit me three wood. I think I better try driver with these range balls. That really wasn't such a bad strike. But it hasn't gone very far. 229 down the wind. Right, 131, 9 iron. This would normally get there with an ordinary golf ball. And it's short. In fact, I got about 15 yards to this flag. And that's a chuff. I was expecting it to feel very hard. But actually, it's soft. Flag is way at the back today, so I'm taking my three hybrid. This would normally get onto the front of the green. If it's got a bit of a bounce off the ground, then it will run well on. This is an absolute mile short. How far short? Well, 36. It's gone about as far as me five iron. But that's not a bad shot. Right, fourth hole. Just heard the bell, that's handy. Now yesterday I hit driver nine iron, of course the wind was going that way. Today it's going this way, so I would expect to hit perhaps driver seven iron if I could get a decent drive away. But these things are 95% balls, allegedly. So I'm probably gonna be hitting a five iron into this green. Do you know what, these are good for the short game because you can't reach the green with them. Driver again on the fourth. I absolutely crush this. And it's gone 224 yards. It's pretty miserable, really. 170, five iron. This should reach. One seventy five iron with a real golf ball that is in the heart of the green. I've hit that out of the middle of the middle and it's short. Well, the ball flight is pretty awful, it's very low. The ball just does not want to get up in the air and fly. All it wants to do is get on the ground as soon as it can. These are pretty poor things to have to practice your golf with. Seventh hole. 155 five, five iron. This should fly well past the flag, but it just hasn't got in the air again. I really don't like these for chipping with. They don't feel so bad off the putter, but chipping, yuck. Well, one thing's certain. Those things are horrible to chip with. Right, par five eighths. Yesterday, into the breeze, about one clever breeze, I hit good driver, good three wood, and an 83 gap wedge. Kind of like not a full out gap wedge. Anybody want to bet on what I'm hitting for my third shot today? 
if it's less than a seven iron, I'll eat my hat. You know, these things are not good to practice with. I will admit that wasn't my best drive, but it's gone about as far as I would hit a hybrid up here. And it's left me a long way back with the three wood. And again, I absolutely crush this three wood and it goes nowhere. Well, it's through the gap at least, but it just hasn't gone very far. I'm clubbing up two clubs to the six iron and again a completely flat ball flight. Absolutely no height on it. Such a flat trajectory and it's short from 143 with a six iron. These things are shocking. You know what guys, over the years there have been many contraptions and tools invented to help you improve your golf. This isn't one of them. In fact I'd say if you are not incredibly disciplined on the driving range, all these things are going to do is make you swing harder and harder and harder and hurt your game. You know I, I see guys on the range and they pull out the driver and they're banging away with these trying desperately to get them past 200 yards. It's not doing them any good, is it? Yeah. Junk. Cheerio. Yeah.